Hey there, I'm Han. And I'm Kat, and we're Bruising and Reviews. So we're going to do another Top 5 Wednesday today. Uh, we'll link all the links for Top 5 Wednesday and the creators and people running it, person running yeah. it, down below. We'll put it all down below. Um, and we're just going to hop right into it. Yeah, um, we're very excited about this one. Yeah. When, um, we did, when we did our other Top 5, these are the ones where we were we wanted to put those in yeah. there, but like we couldn't because yeah. they were side characters, not minor characters. Exactly. Well. So the fact that we get to do this one now is we're happy about. Today's topic is side ships. Tell us your favourite relationships that don't involve the protagonist. So we're just going to hop right into it with a disagreement yes. on our parts. We had six for this top five Wednesday, yeah. and we were so torn on number five that we decided that one was going to have to be yours and one was going to have to yeah. be mine and that was just how we're going to have to do it. I know it's kind of cheating but... We, we, we both care. agree with each other but yeah. it was just... Which one was number five and for six. us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do you want to go first? Okay. My number five was Alice and Jasper from Twilight. I just love their relationship. I think it's beautiful. And I know you're thinking, oh, Twilight, really? But, yeah, Twilight, yeah. Alice and Jasper are cute. They are very I cute. I love them yeah. and they melt my heart and I think like I just really love Jasper and I love Alice but I like Jasper as well and I think They're like the perfect match. Yeah, for each they just other. bring each other like, out and Yeah. They're I, just they're just really cute and it's like I want that one day. I yeah. really would like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my number five was Tonks and Lupin from Harry Potter because Oh my god, are they cute? I I just <sighs> yeah. The the whole way that Tonks falls in love with Lupin and Lupin's trying to push her away for like, because she's like, you could get someone better. You don't want me. I am werewolf. You know you can't and all that. And then oh, I just love it when they get together and it's just <laughs> they are really adorable. <laughs> yeah, they're very adorable, and that's all I've got to say on that. So number four is. Finnick and Annie from The Hunger Games. They're so beautiful. Yeah, that bit when they reunite in Mockingjay. <laughs> As I said, I was in floods of tears. Yeah. Like, they are just... Because you almost wouldn't... Like, you're supposed to not expect that he would be in love with someone who is, like, suffering and all yeah. that sort of thing and a little bit unstable and stuff. But, like, they just match. They, yeah. they make each other better. They're, yeah. like, the other half of a whole. And I think that's why they do work so well. Yeah. And the wedding scene oh. is just... It's mm. beautiful. Yeah. Ah, that's so beautiful. Our number three is Charlotte and Henry from The Infernal Devices. Uh, ah. See, I have just finished reading the first two in that series and... I've done a lot of persuasion. Yeah. Me. I haven't started the third book yet, but... Oh my god, are they so cute. I just... They are adorable. <sighs> It's just like, why don't they know that they love each other? No. <laughs> like, Charlotte is such a strong character yeah. and... And Henry, Henry is so quirky and then, exactly. but like, I like, I don't get how she can't see that he loves him. I know, him like, and he so can't traditionally as well and, oh, they're just absolutely adorable. Yeah, and, um, that, and that's her view of only reading the first two, so can you imagine? It's like, I need to know what happens in the third one that's <laughs> making her say that they're more adorable. Uh, so our number two pick is Ariel, Niall and Leslie from the Wicked Lovely series. Yeah. Like, they are my number one ship from that series. And yeah. I know if you've read it, you might be thinking, oh, but they're main characters in the second book. But do you know what? I don't give one. They're not main characters in all the books. Yeah, exactly, and that's like, because we we discussed this, didn't we? Was where is the are they classed as side or main? But for the purposes of this, they are counted as side yeah. and stuff. It. Yeah, but out of the majority of the books, they're side characters. Yeah, aren't this is true. It, so yeah, yeah. I I just think they're absolutely. They need each other. They do. Like they make each other sane and like they work so well as a dynamic with the three of them uh -huh. and, and that is the thing like even though there is three of them you would have thought you know it'd be a bit of a love triangle but it's so not no like because they all love each other and they're all interlinked and i think that's what makes it so special between them and yeah they're they, so, uh, i just love them yeah I, I like to think that after the events of the final book that they are all just sort of 
living their little love life together and yeah. just being happy, well, as happy as you can be in the dark court, but yeah, happy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah actually, yeah. <laughs> okay, our top side love is Alicum Magnus yeah. from the Mortal Instruments. Yeah. Ah! This is so cute. Like I've only read the first three, so we're not going past that point in time. But my gosh, they are. Oh, I just so love them. Cute. Like, oh my god, I just, I just love them. Every oh. interaction between them is just so perfect, and I think that probably comes from the fact that Magnus is just a great character. Yeah, like he, he's just in like seeing him in the Infernal Devices as well. It, oh, he's such a sweetie, and I just love him. But I love. Alec as well, like, yeah. I think he's one of my favourite characters, yeah. and they just suit each other so well. Yeah. I think I mean, I've read all of them, I've read the prequels, yeah. the newer ones, you know, all of the side books, everything, so I suppose know more about yeah. their love than you do, but, oh! Yeah. I, I think <sighs> Alec's character progression since he meets Magnus is really great in yeah. Like, yeah. the beginning of it, and I, I, just, I just love them, and... They're kind of one of the main reasons that I want to carry on reading the Mortal Instruments because I just love them. They are just really, really beautiful. Yeah. Like, really beautiful. And I think it's really special what their love is. Do you know what I mean? Their love yeah. is very special. And that's what I like about it. It's, it's, it's true. It yeah. feels true and yeah. believable and just. Lovely. You can see all their feelings. Yes, yeah. Just, yeah. You, just like, you don't yeah. doubt any of it. Yeah, you, I want like, you guys yeah, together. Yeah, um, exactly. That's where you go. Yeah. Um, so that was our top five Wednesday. Uh, let us know some of your favourite side chips. If you agree with any of ours, or if you don't, then let us know why. Um, if you like this video, leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that business. <laughs> and uh, see you next time. See you later. Bye.